Hello again, my name is Steve Hillis and this is the first in a series of videos where we're going to look at methodology and sociology. Methodology is all about how we do research, how we gather data, how we test theories and so forth. Methodology is a critical issue if you're worried about sociology as a social science, whether we're really rigorously testing our theories and uh, really how we're gathering our data, ultimately what our data means. Is our data valid? Is it realistic? Are we accurately describing the social world? These are some of the issues, some of the important issues that come up when we talk about methodology. Methodology is all about the rules and procedures that we use to gather data, to test theories, and ultimately to conduct scientific research. Scientific research uh, requires a, uh, a game plan. It requires assumptions and approaches and, well, it, it, it requires methodologies. In this lecture series, we're going to look at a variety of issues relating to methodology. We're going to look at how we go about testing causal theories. We're going to look at how we gather data and, more specifically, how we measure our, data, uh, our, our variables, how we generate data. We're going to look at uh, how we do sampling, how we gather subjects and what difference that makes, how we select them. And we're going to look at uh, research design, how we actually plan to go about testing theories and so forth. We're going to then look at comparing the advantages and disadvantages, the strengths and weaknesses of different methods or different approaches to doing research. Now, before we get into all of this, let me point out that methodology is critical to social science exactly because your science is only as good as your methodology. There are better and worse ways to do research. And frankly, your data, your results, your interpretation of your results are only as good as your methodology. So, since we need to approach scientific research in a rigorous, accurate, reliable, valid way, you need to have a better sense of, well, how to do that, and also what can go wrong and what that means. Without understanding methodology, you really don't understand sociology as a social science. And hopefully, after you get a little better understanding of it, you'll have a better sense of how we do social science. And you'll also get a better sense of what can go wrong when we do social science poorly. And maybe as you step away, you'll become a little bit more of a skeptical consumer of the social sciences, realizing that, well, things can and often do go wrong. And then you need to be careful of how you interpret the results of scientific research, and that uh, you should often uh, you know, check and double check uh, the, uh, the, the uh, rigorousness of the research that you're quoting or using, that you need to be careful and cautious. Uh, before jumping to the conclusion that just any scientific research is accurate. At any rate, that's where we're going to leave it for right now. Next time around, we'll get together and we'll talk about uh, what uh, looks like testing causal theories. So we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.